Here is one example of uh, fluorescence slide imaging. In this case, we are using a potato uh, fluorescence slide. Uh, for this experiment, we are using a 20x uh, objective lens, and we are collecting a green color. So basically, we excite a green color, and the emission is red. In the monitor, we have um, live imaging of the sample. You can see in the manual exposure mode and I'm giving you uh, uh, the specs and the setting basically uh, for this experiment um, as I said as we are using a 20x objective lens and we collect basically 10 focal points and every um, plane has four steps jump maximum to 40 steps and in this case basically we have uh, something around um, 0 0.3, 0 0.31 micron size of each step. And we collect 18 by 21 tiles, 18 in X direction and 21 tile in Y direction to be able to collect in uh, a big tile. And for this experiment, basically we have defined to focus every single field of view. We can skip that if we click on this fast scan and say OK. We use very slow speed, which is just one millimeter per second, to make sure we collect every single um, focal points and we don't miss any pixel. And also, uh, basically, we are doing this in manual exposure mode and we give enough uh, pause time for the step uh, to be able to capture the image. So I come back here to show you uh, basically the camera setting. Um, we are running the experiment so I cannot play with this anymore but I'm showing you how does this work and you have the image in the background. And as I said, is this is a manual exposure mode. We are collecting uh, 235 uh, millisecond and the gain is at the minimum which is just one and the color in this case so we haven't changed anything uh, here well the white balance was done but then we changed the gamma to the maximum 1.8 and in the histogram also we didn't put uh, anything in the after mode that is uh, uh, default and then um, when we are collecting the image in color mode and TIFF format and it is a 10 bit. I also need to add that basically scanning is done from the bottom right up to the top left and then we are not doing any flip in this case. The camera in this case we are using it's a 2 megapixel, it's a 1900 by 1080. Just to show you the progress in this case uh, basically um, we are supposed to collect uh, 19 by uh, 20, which is 378 images, and we are almost at the middle of that, which shows the focus, uh, autofocus at every spot and the progress. We can also see the coordination of uh, X, Y, Z for the current position in which we collect the image. So here we have the final result after scanning almost uh, 400 images. So you can see uh, all images are scanned and tiled together. So we can zoom in to look at a couple of areas while we have the navigation bar here. We can see which area we are looking. Well, interestingly, we have the red line on the uh, red area. It won't be easy to see over there. And so here basically we can look at the pixelation so we have the the cross line here it beautifully shows how uh, all four spots are overlapped together i zoom out here from here and go all the way down where we had a little bit saturated in bright area in comparison to dim area we also have access directly to the raw images. Here you can see every single images. You can look at this image uh, individually if you like. And as you can see, the image resolution is 1920 by 1080, and it's a TIFF file.